Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Americana Metal bolt-in valve stem. So here's what our valve stem is going to look like when we have it installed on our wheel here. Now the main difference between this valve stem and the other ones you're going to see on the market is that this one's metal and most of the other ones are rubber because they're more cost effective. So you may be wondering why you would want a metal valve stem. Well this is pretty simple in regards to trailer wheels. The metal valve stems actually have a much higher pressure rating. Um, this one here is rated for over 100 PSI. Now granted they don't give a max PSI, but you'll be comfortable to go over 100 without any issues and most trailer wheels aren't going to go too much over that. So one of the most common questions we get here at e-trailer is people want to upgrade the tires on the trailer. That's usually the first thing they do when they get a trailer. They want to upgrade to a higher load range or a higher ply tire so they have more room for air and they can load more in their trailer. So when doing this, they're concerned about the PSI rating. So obviously the trailer tire you're going to be using is going to have a new PSI rating, usually higher than the one that we're replacing it with. Therefore, they're worrying about the wheel being a weak point. Well, that's a really good question, but the trailer wheels actually don't have a PSI rating. The PSI rating comes from the valve stem itself. So a lot of the rubber valve stems that come installed in your wheels from the factory now I can't speak for all of them, but I would say a good rule of thumb is those usually limit themselves to about 65 PSI. So if you go with a higher load range tire that requires more PSI in the tire and wheel, you will need to upgrade the valve stem and that's where this metal bolt-in valve stem comes into play. In regards to compatibility, you're really not going to have any issues here with this valve stem. It's going to fit pretty much any trailer wheel option on the market. Now we'll go into this a little bit more further in the video, but basically there's two standard valve stem hole sizes. If you have a 16 inch and up wheel, it's going to use the larger size. And if you have anything under that, it's going to use the smaller size. And no matter which you have, this is going to work with both. So if you guys are using any TPMS sensors with your trailer wheels, they're going to work just fine with these valve stems. You're not going to have any issues at all. So to start our installation today, we're going to take our wheel here. We're going to locate the valve stem hole. For our particular wheel, it's going to be located down here. Now this could change depending on the orientation of your wheel. So what we need to do is we can do one of two things. So we can either measure that valve stem hole with a set of calipers or we could just simply note the diameter of our wheel. So this is a 15 inch diameter wheel and I know the 15 inch diameter wheel uses that smaller valve stem because there's actually two standard sizes. We have a smaller one and we have a larger one. So the larger ones are going to be on your 16 and up inch wheel. So if you have a wheel that's 16 inches in diameter or larger, you're going to be using the larger grommet. Whereas if you have a wheel that's 15 or smaller, you're going to be using the smaller grommet. Now what I mean by that is, if we take our valve stem here, we take a closer look at it. I'm going to take off the cap here. And then we're going to have a nut here along with a washer. There's actually two grommets that are on this valve stem already. We got the smaller one up front here and we have this larger one in the back. So we don't want to install it with both of those grommets in place. You do want to remove them because we're going to be using this one, which is the smaller one. So go ahead and take that larger grommet off there. You can clearly see they're two different sizes and one of them is quite larger than the other. So because we have a 15 inch wheel, we're going to be using the smaller one here. Just go ahead and slip that into position, just like so. So now we'll take our partially assembled valve stem and we'll place that up through the hole in our wheel. I'm going to place on that retaining ring there and then I'm going to take our little jam nut here, snug it up. Now to tighten this down, we're going to take a five and a half millimeter Allen key and there's actually going to be an Allen head on the bottom of the valve stem there that this should go into. And then we're going to use that to hold it and then we're going to tighten our nut on top with a 14 millimeter socket. Now there isn't any sort of torque spec for this. Um, you're just going to be tightening it by feel. You don't need to go completely overboard, but it does need to be pretty snug. So just use your common sense here and you should be fine. Now go ahead and put some air in your tires there. We always recommend here at e-trailer to fill the tires to the maximum PSI listed on the sidewall and that's while the tire is cold. But then you'll go ahead and just screw on the valve cap and that's going to do it for your installation. So we've got one of our wheels done here. Now we just need to repeat those same few steps on the other wheels for our trailer. But once we do, that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Americana Metal Bolt-In Valve Stem.